Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a brand review for the jewelry brand, The Gasper. Now, if you're into streetwear fashion, you go on social media, you would see that a lot of the times that people are wearing accessories, whether it be necklaces, bracelets, rings, all of that stuff to up the level of their fits. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me where you wanted to buy those accessories, but you didn't know where to look and where to buy some that were affordable. Because let's face it, not a lot of people are able to drop 80 bucks for a simple ring and just one ring at that. And that's where The Gasper comes in because their accessories are unique, high quality, and of course, affordable. So the Gasper allowed me to pick a couple of things off their site to showcase to you guys, and I got them all right here. Now, all seven of these are three different assortments of accessories. So we got some necklaces, we got some bracelets, and we also got some rings. But let's start off with the necklaces first and work our way down to the rings. And we'll start off with the most controversial one. So like I said before, this one right here is a little bit controversial. Not a lot of guys specifically. Probably won't really wear this one. Um, and I'll show you right now because opening it up comes a little pouch, pretty cool, is a pearl necklace. So this one right here is the pearl necklace. So yeah, as simple as that. And I got this in 20 inches or 50 centimeters. So this necklace is made out of seven millimeter pearls as well as 316 stainless steel. And when I say the stainless steel, it's not in the pearls, it's the hook and the loop. This necklace also comes in 18 inches or 45 centimeters as well. So if you want a more like choker look, you can also get that size. This is going for $65, which I think is a pretty decent price for I mean, a pearl necklace. Now this necklace is water resistant as well. So you can wear this in the shower. You can also wear this like at the beach, for example. Before I saw online that some people were wearing pearl necklaces, I've been wearing just regular chains like this, regular stainless steel chains. And when I saw that person mixing up their accessories with a pearl necklace, I was like, hey, it's not that bad. But again, it's not for everyone, I'm sure. I even asked my dad, he said he would not wear this. Now the weight of this, I also have a scale right here. Let me bring this out. So in grams, the weight of this, pearl necklace is 37 grams so it's not too heavy and not too light so this next one right here is a little bit controversial as well and that's mainly because it's the bracelet version of the necklace so this one right here is the pearl bracelet this one exactly is eight inches or 20 centimeters this also comes in different sizes it also comes in seven inches or 18 centimeters seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters and also eight and a half inches or 21 centimeters. This bracelet consists of the same thing, it's basically the same thing as a necklace, it has seven millimeter white pearls and also 316 stainless steel, white pearls all around, and the hooks and the loop is stainless steel. Now this bracelet is running for $44, which I think is a pretty good price for a pearl bracelet. I mean, if I didn't know the price and I saw someone wearing a pearl bracelet, I'd probably assume that it was worth at least minimum 80 bucks or something now holding this bracelet up it is light but it does not feel cheap whatsoever it definitely feels high quality let's put this on the scale see how much it weighs so this bracelet weighs 14 grams so it's pretty light moving on to the next item this one right here is the bicycle bracelet i think that's how you say it bicycle or bical so as you can see i got this in silver but it also comes in gold and also comes in different sizes as well this one specifically, I got this at 8.2 inches or 20.8 centimeters, but it also comes in seven inches or 18 centimeters or eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. Now this has a heavy industrial style. It's made out of 316 stainless steel and the width of it is 1.5 centimeters. Now this bracelet does not have a hook in the loop. Instead, it has like a toggle clasp that you can just insert into the loop and it'll stay secured like that. Now this bracelet is running for $51. So it is a little bit more expensive than the pearl bracelet. Now this bracelet right here probably be the one that I use the most, mainly because it'll just complement my fits a lot better than any other type of thing. I mean, it's just a simple stainless steel chain. And it's pretty similar even to the ones that I'm wearing right now. So like, it'll just complement it very well. I mean, even wearing right now the toggle clasp clasp. So, I mean, it matches in that way. Now, the weight of this bracelet is 33 grams. It's at the weight where you would feel that at first, but after a while, after like a couple seconds, you won't even realize it's there. So this is probably something that we'll be wearing a lot. And the good thing about this is that it's not too bulky and it's not too thin either. It's just the right size where it won't be too flashy, but people will be able to see it and will up the level of your fits. Now that we're done with the necklaces as well as the bracelets, let's move on to the rings. Now, all of these rings are different sizes, so they will fit on different fingers. So just a heads up, if you are trying to buy these rings, you should measure the finger that you want that ring to fit on because it probably will be different. For example, if you want to measure point your finger to your pinky, 
they're gonna be different. So let's start off with this one. And this one right here is the Raheem ring. Actually, let me just take this out the Ziploc. So this one right here is the Raheem ring in silver. It also comes in gold. And I got this in a size 10. So this ring has a curved chain design and is made out of 316 stainless steel. And I chose this ring because it does still have that chain look but it's not too flashy of a ring either. So like I said before, I got this in the size 10, so it will not fit my pinky, it's too big. It won't fit my, my ring finger either, it's too big for that as well, but it will fit my pointer finger, so it fits perfectly and comfortably. Now holding this up, it is a pretty light ring, but let's put this on the scale, and it weighs five grams, so basically nothing. And this ring is running for $44, and I think that's a pretty decent price for a good high quality ring. Let's move on to the next ring. This one right here is the Ignite ring in silver. It also comes in gold as well, and I got this in a size eight. So this one right here was a size 10, this is a size eight, so it will be smaller than this one. And I can't put this ring on my pointer finger because it's gonna be too small. But instead, I can put this ring on my ring finger and it will fit comfortably. Now, like all the other items, this is made out of 316 stainless steel. And the main thing about this ring is the design of it. As you can see, it does look like it has like a flame wrapped around my finger. I mean, it's called the Ignite Ring. But on the website, I'll read it right now. It says that it's a ring inspired by the organic form of a flame defined by a wave of flames that wrap around your finger. So if you want to stray away from that chain look, you can incorporate this ring and mix it up a little bit. So the weight of this ring feels a lot lighter than the previous one. So let's weigh it and it comes out to three grams. So two grams lighter than the previous one. Right, let's move on to the last ring. Now this one right here is the artery ring in silver. Now this one also comes in gold as well as diesel and it's running for $37. So a lot cheaper than the other ones. This ring has a curved braided design and is also made of 316 stainless steel. Now I got this ring in a size 9 which is in between these two rings. So this one should fit on my ring finger. Okay I can see that it could fit on this finger, my middle finger, if it's on this part of my finger. But it can't get past my knuckle so I guess I can only put this on my ring finger. <laughs> now this ring feels heavier than the Ignite ring, but not too much, but let's weigh it. So this ring measures at six grams. So it's actually the heaviest ring that I have of these three rings. But it's kind of unfortunate that I can't put this on my ring finger. It kind of makes the look incomplete if I don't have this on. Now as a bonus, there's actually another necklace that they sent me that I did not expect at all. And the thing is, I can't find this necklace on their website. So I can't really give you the exact you know information and details about this necklace. It's basically a longer version or a necklace version of the Bacal bracelet. But the length of this chain is 20 inches and it does have a toggle clasp just like the bracelet version of it. Now I'm assuming because it has a chain design that it only comes in silver and I don't know the price of it because again, I can't find it on the website. But since this is a longer version of the bracelet, it's basically like a set. So it will complement each other if you do wear them together. Now for the weight of this chain, it does feel a little bit heavy, but let's see how much it weighs. 90 grams. So it's a lot heavier than all the other stuff that I weighed before this one. But from my experience from wearing chains after you wear it a while, you don't really realize that it's there. So 90 grams, not too bad. Now I showed you guys a pretty decent amount of stuff that they have on their website, but on their website, they do have a lot more things. They got Cuban links, they got pendants, they got other different types of rings and bracelets. Now all of their jewelry is waterproof, so they won't fade or tarnish. If you want, I mean, summer's coming up, you can take it to the beach, have it on. It's waterproof, like I said before. Or if you're working out, you don't have to worry about the color fading, it'll be all good. Now one thing that this brand stresses is that they always use premium material for all of their jewelry. So all of their stuff isn't made of like cheap zinc or anything like that basically they won't irritate your skin they won't give you rashes or they won't leave your neck green and i think one of the best things is that they have a lifetime guarantee where like if you break a bracelet or a ring for example they'll replace it free of charge but that's gonna wrap it up for this brand review for the gasper if you like any of the stuff that i show you guys i put links to them in the description down below now you can use my code julius e15 for 15 percent off so you got some high quality affordable jewelry plus 50 percent off can't get better than that. But if you guys found this video informative in any way, shape, or form, hit that like button, hit that sub button too, I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.